How's it going YouTube? It is Eric here and today I got an update video sort of. Um, I know I haven't been posting any COD Warzone recently and I know that the new Call of Duty Vanguard is actually uh, in its beta right now and a lot of people are playing it. Um, I've been watching people like Jgod play it, um, Swag, uh, and other people like Exclusive Ace and they do their analysis on the on the game and it kind of looks like it's a letdown it's basically a reskinned version of call of duty warzone so that's why i haven't been posting any call of duty and instead i've switched to apex legends and i honestly like this game a lot more and i'm gonna go through this video explaining why i think this game is better than warzone currently um and i think warzone is just too casual and it's just full of cheaters but we're going to get right into it. If you guys like this kind of content, like and subscribe. I will be posting some more Apex nowadays. Um, but I've just been trying to get better. So I haven't had too many opportunities to get some good gameplay of it. So first up, one of the reasons why I switched over to Apex is the cheater problem is Warzone is just too crazy. Um, in Apex, I don't seem to encounter any cheaters. I, whatever anti-cheat system they have, it is... Um, way better than war zones because i haven't encountered any cheaters at least nothing too suspicious where i instantly die um but yeah i have played apex for a few months now and then every so often i get bored and one time like every time i go back to war zone just to try it out I always encounter a cheater that day, which is insane because in Apex, all these months that I've been playing, I haven't seen a cheater one time. But then the first day I return to Warzone, I see a cheater. It's just absolutely nuts. It's insane. And, you know, it's just, it makes the game less fun when you're playing a game and you are always questioning, oh, is that guy cheating or is he just really, really good? And, you know, most of the time, if you're getting lasered and beamed and you die within you know, less than a second, they're cheating. They're hitting all headshots or they have a car 98 and they're just hitting you in the head. They don't miss a single bullet. They're cheating. And Apex doesn't have any of that, which is why I really have enjoyed Apex. Um, another reason is there is a ranked mode and I've recently gone into rank, ranked. Uh, one of the ranked splits is what they call it or seasons uh, just ended and I'm ending on platinum three um i might try to grind out on the last day to get platinum too but overall i'm ending on platinum so i haven't reached diamond yet but i believe you know platinum's kind of a good space where i'm at i believe i can reach diamond but once i hit diamond those games are going to be very very hard for me um, everybody's just so good but ranked mode in apex is nice and warzone doesn't really have any ranked as of right now and it'd be kind of nice to see. I know there's like skill-based matchmaking and isn't always the same as ranked exactly because you, you know, if you're playing with your friends, then they, you know, if they're better than you, then you're playing enemies that are way above your skill level and vice versa. If you're playing with friends that are uh, not as good as you, then you're just pub stomping, which is always nice. But on the flip side, more times than not, there are, you're always getting the harder opponents. You're never really getting the easier opponents. And so the people who are worse aren't really having as fun of a time as, you know, all the other games are. But with Apex, you kind of know what you're getting into. If you're playing with your bronze friend, you guys are both bronze, you'll queue up with other bronze players. And everybody's kind of in the same playing field. If you're in silver and then your friend's in bronze, then you kind of know what to expect, that you're going to face some silvers. It just goes with, you know, whoever is the highest rank. And it's very reasonable because you can actually see the rank. Unlike in Warzone, skill-based matchmaking, it's all hidden and hidden MMR. Like, you don't know your rating. Um, the transparency in Apex is nice. Um, so that's another reason why I switched over to Apex. Um, I also, also just like unlocking skins for free. Uh, not having to, you know, spend any money. I've only... And the 10 bucks on the battle pass but you know that's that's i feel like if you're gonna spend money that's the normal amount of money to spend on these type of games i'm not buying skins from the store but you just get the battle pass and then once you get one and you reach level 100 on it you can buy the next one for free just using the points that you get from the battle pass 
Um, but even if you don't even buy the battle pass, every two levels you get a pack that you can just open that has, you know, cosmetic items, which is always really nice and it keeps you coming back um, to get to, you know, keep playing and keep leveling up. And it's also cool because when you get Apex, if you just get, if you don't, if you just download the free version, then you just get the base characters. I think there's around, I could be like eight or so. Um, characters and then you have to play a lot and it's around 20 levels before you can unlock another character i think there's probably if there's eight that's one row there's like two more rows of characters that you can get um and i've been playing for quite a bit i'm around like level 84 86 something like that i've already unlocked four characters um so it's always fun you're always grinding for something you don't have the characters immediately straight off the bat um and you know a lot of these other YouTubers like Nick Merckx um, and other people that have switched over from Warzone to Apex, I'm sure they just bought all the characters, which is fine. But, you know, they're also having a good time just unlocking other skins as well, just through, you know, the battle pass or the packs. It's always nice unlocking something every day, not having to pay for it. Um, another thing why I like Apex is it is a lot harder than Warzone. It is so hard. This game is tremendously hard. You can't just pop stomp right when you get in it. The movement mechanics are way more advanced. The gun skill, you have to be so much better. Um, the skill ceiling is so much higher. Uh, the health is higher. You can have around... Um, or at least the time to kill is slower. I wouldn't say the health is higher because it's a both. They're both around a hundred or two hundred health. I think Warzone's actually more. I think you have around two fifty. Um, but the bullets do less damage in Apex, so that requires you to hit more shots and be more accurate, which in turn makes means you have to be more skillful with the game. Um, which is really nice because it's really been testing me out on my aim and I'm not the best aimer But I have loved seeing myself improve with the tracing And it's just hard and you Can't really you can camp in this game, but camping doesn't always benefit you because if you camp Certain mechanics you don't get as much loot You don't get the good loot and you, your armor doesn't get better. So you can't get as more health um, so camping is viable, but it's not always the best, um, which is really nice. And even if you run into a building and there's like a full team camping in there, you can still escape. It's not like in War Zone where you run into a building, there's three people looking at you, you're immediately dead. No, that doesn't happen in Apex. Depending on you know what legend you are, you can easily evade them. If you're Octane, you can stand yourself and run away super fast. If you're Wraith, you can go use your like interdimensional uh like skill and you won't be able to get hit and you can just run away um but that's it, it's just really nice the the legends and the skills um that you can use it it really just makes the game feel different right it's like in warzone all you do is drop in where we drop in you usually drop in around the same areas because you're more comfortable you get the same loot you get enough money to get a loadout you buy the loadout and use the meta guns and yeah every so often you can kind of change it up and not use the meta guns if you want but you know that's not as fun in apex legends there is no loadout you just get the guns off the ground whatever guns you can whatever attachments you can get that's what you got and there's no loadout which is really nice so everybody has pretty much an even playing field there is some luck based on what loot you get off the ground but if you are a good player and you kill more players you get better loot that's just simply how it is and if you get bored you can there's three different maps uh that switch at least in casual mode and rank is just one for the whole entire season or split um and then it switches it's just so ranked is more you know consistent whereas casual is like it switches it up if you don't get bored of the maps um which is also really nice and i love all three maps so far um and yeah and you know with the legends if you get bored of playing you know say you get bored of playing bloodhound this person who tracks people's feet if you get bored of playing him you can always switch to you know the other legends and there's always Different skills you can try out. You can always get better at, as different people. You can play as like a robot. His name is Pathfinder. Um, you know, it, it's like so much 
like you can mix around and you can always be getting better at the gameplay using the skills better learning the maps better learning the characters and it's always so much fun and the skill ceiling is so high you know not there isn't slide canceling but there's like slide you can slide and then jump to make yourself faster that's like the super basic movement uh like at like a more advanced movement technique but it's super basic and that's where i'm at right now you can do things like wall jumping and loads of other things that i'm sure the pros are doing but i can't even see like i haven't even learned how to wall jump yet uh, but there's things like that and the mechanics of gunfights is so different third parting is different there's no like kill streaks in this game and it's just a nice change of pace and i've really been liking this game a lot more than warzone so i hope you guys enjoyed my little explanation and maybe i've convinced you to try out apex let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of the current state of warzone i haven't been there in a while but i know that with the launch of vanguard they're rumoring a different map or not rumor maybe it's confirmed already i'm not entirely too sure um what do you think of vanguard or what do you think of apex if you've tried apex let me know and maybe you know throw your username down in the comments and we can play together but um thank you guys so much for watching and peace